Florida is around 439,000 hectares of land nationwide. So, what about that? We've been coming back and forth here in Cebu, distributing lands to our farmers in far flung areas. Probably you have not heard of me, but the fact is, I've been coming here in Cebu for quite some time, back and forth. Uh, and at the height of the pandemic, I was one of those secretaries who was really well traveled because I would like to personally bring the certificate of land ownership award, the titles to our farmers. So I would go to their farms, to their houses, I would knock on their doors and distribute personally the titles to the farmers. And that is a new hope for them. Now, as, uh, <coughs> as a senatorial candidate, because of my experience, I know that there should be a strong support for our barangay officials. And in this regard, <coughs> because of my experience as the former Undersecretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, it is my desire that we should pass a law in order to enhance the powers of our barangay officials. And this is one which, of course, is the passage of the Magna Carta for our barangay. I and Jose Martin Vidya are very good friends because we belong to an organization which we call the Mayor of Vigo Law the National Executive Board of which I am the National President. Now, as I've been talking with Jose uh, Martin Vidya, you know, a lot of our barangay campaigns are overworked. Uh, even at 2 o'clock in the morning, someone would knock at your doors and you would be constrained to really uh, stand and attend to the needs of your constituents. Uh, you know, it is high time that we should give salaries to our barangay campaigns, uh, not very honorarium, because I know that what is being given to our uh, barangay captains are only honorarium, but not salaries. So probably we have to professionalize it by recognizing you as full-time government officials. And therefore, you should be entitled to benefits, to insurances, and to all other advantages that are being extended to some government officials. Secondly, the security of tenure for your uh, Barangay Lupon, Barangay Talon, Barangay Headquarters. It's high time that we should give you this right because you are really the conduit of the national government in reaching out to our candidate, I mean, to, our, to your constituents. But anyway, since uh, I don't have so much time to talk about this, my main platform is to see that we will continue the distribution of lands, not only to our farmers, but all to all poor people who would like to uh, delve themselves into agricultural uh, uh, business activity. I think it's high time that we should give importance to agriculture because for me, I believe the farmers are one of the heroes of our countries, and it is actually the last frontier of our survival. But especially right now, COVID-19, we have a problem about the Russian Ukraine war, the sudden rise of, of products, and third, we have the natural calamities, and we have a very big external debt, which of course means that it will affect the budget of our different departments. So anyway, thank you so much for this opportunity. I know that uh, we lack material time. But uh, let me uh, introduce myself again. I am Attorney John Ruano Castillones, a former secretary of the Department of Agrarian Reform. I would really need your help. Please help me so that we will be able to help Mayor Moreno, who I believe is the rightful uh, candidate who would have to be the president, next president of the Philippines, because he came from the poor sector. Uh, he knows how it feels to be a poor person. And if there's anyone, who would fit in the position of president it should be a person who has the heart for our body. I am Attorney General Specialist, number 10 in Posa Pilota, Barani Salama.
rescue. Naging mababatas din po ako sa arm, apat na milyon na tao. So, nasa harap niyo po ay, uh, sabi na ni anak ni Senator Santanina, sabi mo na sa mira, pero hiya ba po? Nasabi niya, ito na wala mo sa akin. Kasi na po. 1991, yung last time siya na sa akin. Yeah, ito na wala mo sa kasi kinayon na yung master si Sobos in Pilipinas. Tinuray mo pa. Tinaw kayo sa mga. Sabi ka niya ako, sabi ko lang. Isaya, yun ang mga ikwela dito sa atin. Pero isaya yung dugo eh. Mami ko, hindi ka ba? Si Sabi Sayat siya sa mga. Si Papa niya si Alkwaray. Tapos si Isaya niya sa... Basta yung Isaya siya. Kaya sa mga. Magrabi mo na ako. Nagsayit ko ba? Ang bumaba kami sa... Border na ilo-ilo, border ba? Yung barangay. Barangay. Barangay yung asimple na nakakain ng mga laway-laway. Yung barangay tama. Nakita nyo sa piso. Kaya nga dito eh, hap-hart na na. Bisaya itong inyo maharap. Pero hindi lumaki sa atin. Pero naipang niya pa yung pobre. Na ako na nga yung kira. Five years, quarantine. Bakit quarantine? Hindi pa nakapalik. Kayo, komersyon nyo, COVID ba kami? Karbon. Yan na sunog, nasira. Plat. Kung nakita yung Russia, yung Ukraine ngayon, plat. Pinakal na yung Ukraine. The same, yung mga bumba doon na ginamit sa marami, mas mataas ang tao, six feet, sir. Kaya yung seven hundred, sir, mataas sa inyo. Kaya tagal na isin ako kayo. Sahin yung PRC. What you spend for war in Marawi could have been spent for what you want to make sense. Marawi diocese, water tank, health, sanitation, facility. Hindi ka niya trabaho na sila doon kami. Kung nalang kayo lang yung barangay diocese, dito na lang yung pera. Kaysa doon, nakataya pa tayo yung kapapili. And then sabi nga rin na may nuclear warfare. Crisis manager. Ang inyong offer na ito, ang pinansya, ang kanapin level, na alam yung mga tayo, na hirap, ang magronga, ang nga pinamago, ang dami na nakatawag ba? So, yung pinansya tayo. Makipag-pertuhan, makipag-maritis man kayo. Yung mga tayo din. Magtatambay na walang pangkapi. Ano ba naman yung mga yan? Nakawawa na. Walang pangkapi. Sir, election. Pangkapi pa rin lang na. Walang pangkapi nga kami. Every day, mahal mo ang pangkapi ng sa iyo. Kaya kayo pa. Na every day lang. Ilan ang KBL na yan? Ano yung KBL? Yung partido nyo siya. Kasabi niya lang eh. Isingay niya naman. Kasabi niya lang eh. Ako po, sir, naging rescue leader by virtual accident. The woman on the Yolanda Trail, humanitarian work. So sabi ng mga Maranao sa Marawi, paano tayo makatulong sa Yolanda? O sige, mando ko, makipag-usap sa sundalo ba? Purus tayo gusto yung palagi, tingin makakatakot tayo, tumulong tayo. Nag-collect na ng mga mano, nag-collect na ng mga piso-piso. Six by ang nag-hundred. Sa Mindanao State University, which has the poorest of the poor students, alam niya, sino ang nag-usurigaw dito? Pag-usan, zero tuition fee, emission. Marami si Juan ang nag-aaral sa amin sa emission. Marami. Can you imagine, kapit tayo ng marami siege, nag-stand still for five months, wala ka rin. Yung mga bata ang graduate, kami na ang graduate. Anong proposition ko, ma'am? Barangay tayo, tatlong power team. Power sex, judicial, legislative, executive, more powerful than president. And yet, the funds are so limited. Wala kayong emergency funds. Yung ayuda nun, yes na hindi. Kaawa yung pasig, yes na hindi. Bakit? Yung white pie nyo ba? Naka-computerize ba yung data nyo na for this? Mali ang listahan yung yes na ba hindi? I have validated sino may isang buka na? Ako ay alam barangay kapitan ako. Alam ko sino may walang kwarto sa amin. Alam ko sino nasunugan ng ilang mga buwan. Nang ilang buwan, walang mainan. Mas alam ko kayo sa yes na ba hindi. And yet, bakit listahan yung yes na ba hindi? Sorry, ano wala akong buto sa yes na ba hindi? For this. Ang proposition ko, ang data nyo is the credible data. The information that you provide is the database that is actual, real, and practical, and all the updated every day. Kasi yung ha, yung kibiyan nyo. Lagi yung kasabi niya, lang ay pagbukuntis. Tanga ka, nakalim. Nakakalindan nyo sa inyo. And therefore, the federalization
finish on federalism project. Kasi hindi naman ang project. Ay, hindi nangyari kay President Duterte. Pero parang guys, ako ang ano na, kung hindi kaya ng federalism yun na. Masyadong mga political, politicized by federalism. It is the barangay at the center of COVID effort, contact tracing, PPE effort. Kunti tayo dapat yung katawan ng mga talong yun. At kayo mga house to house. Being a daughter of a former or an incumbent mayor ng aking mga mother, you know, sa lang mag-anot. Barang ikakita ng mga sister ko tatlo. Ano ba yung problema na siya? Hard to happen to. It takes a mayor to know a mayor para may kapatid. It takes a mayor to know your need for ambulance. It takes a mayor to know your ideas. It takes a mayor to vaccinate your children. Kaya na siya. Crisis, crisis, crisis. Mausi problema nyo. Problema nyo lahat sa tourist nation. Basketball, price trophy. Wala naman po. Si Samira Buto is here as your crisis worker. I think for the crisis manager, Isko Morena, as president. Here we go, Wasteland. I have been a city councilor for six years. Umabot sa 270 ordinances and resolutions sa aking pong nabasa. Kasama doon ang Quezon City Tricycle Franchising Ordinance, the very first in the country, and the Pamantasan Politecnico ng Lungsod ng Quezon na hanggang ngayon ginagamit pa rin ng Lungsod Quezon. I served as Assistant General Manager of the National Housing Authority for four years. We were able to provide housing solutions to about 135,000 families, and I was uh, president of National Home Mortgage Finance Corporation for seven years. So I'm carrying also as one of my platforms, my housing solutions for the country. And we would want to implement nationwide what has been done in Manila. In Manila, for the past three years, they were able to provide seven housing projects. Nagkaroon po doon ng Tondominium, 15-story 
condominium building, 42 square meters, two bedrooms, two elevators for the poorest of the poor of Manila. Tall Dominion 1, nagkaroon din po ng Tall Dominion 2, Pinon Dominion, Pasay Community, San Lazaro Residences, San Sebastian Residences, Kedro Hill Residences. So pinuhus po ang uh, serbisyo ng Maynila para sa kanilang pabahay, para sa pinakamahihirap na mamamayan. And we want to participate in doing this for Cebu and for the whole country. And that is why, that is one of the reasons why I am running now with Mayor Isco Moreno. So, sana po, tagkiligid po ninyo ang aming partido. Ako po si Joe Petsison. Kapag kayo ay nangailangan ng pera, 5-6. Ako po ang maputing 5-6. Sa balota. 56 po sa balota. Pinaglalaban po sa bahay pagpapalawin ng kalamalikal at pagpapalakas ng barangay. Paglaban po natin, Joe and Cesar. Amo po maabot ka Presidente sa Tipo Pilipinas, Esco Moreno. Maraming salamat sa inyong